Hi, I'm Jenny Grosso, and this is your Friday DTN3. Big news for California this week, Governor Jerry Brown signed a slew of bills into law last weekend. Of major controversy is the passage of the California Dream Act. The law grants undocumented students access to financial aid and state fee waivers at public universities and colleges. Students must have attended high school for at least three years and prove they're in process of attaining a legalized immigration status. Students must also demonstrate financial e need and meet academic standards. Governor Brown did, however, veto a bill that would allow universities to factor race, gender, and income of applicants in order to ensure campus diversity in the student populations. Republican lawmakers and conservative groups have begun organizing a referendum drive to repeal the law. Governor Brown also signed into law another controversial bill that caused a stir in the tanning industry. Although it probably doesn't affect you, it may affect someone you know. The new law imposes severe restrictions on teen tanning. It states that anyone under the age of 14 is prohibited from using a tanning bed. Also, teens between the ages of 15 and 17 will now need a parent's permission before attending a tanning salon. This law makes California the first state in the nation to place such limitations on tanning. It goes into effect January 1st. The Occupy Wall Street protest is showing staying power as it continues to grow. This weekend, Orange County joins the movement with its own force called Occupy Orange County. Organizers plan to set up protests in the city of Irvine. The movement that started on Wall Street almost a month ago has spread to over 70 cities nationwide, including Los Angeles and San Diego. Protesters have been camping out on city hall lawns across the nation. The message behind the movement is a stand against what participants call corporate greed and social inequality. They are upset over high unemployment rates, tuition hikes, and wealth disparities, and even the U.S. involvement in the Middle Eastern War. Tomorrow's protest is set to get underway at 9 a.m. outside the Irvine Civic Center. This week we experienced an unusual October heat wave. How long will it last? Diana Devalos has the weekend forecast. Diana? Thanks, Jenny. It's California, and what do you know? It's nice and sunny out today. We're looking at temperatures to reach the mid-80s today, tomorrow on Saturday. Um, we're looking at some clouds in the morning, but by the mid-afternoon, it should clear up to uh, the mid-70s. And on Sunday, we're looking at clear skies and the 70s again. That's the weather for this weekend. Jenny, back to you in the studio. Thanks, Diana. Now Trina Berberette has a recap on this week's entertainment news. Trina? Thanks, Jenny. Well, rumors swirled around the world about Beyonce's pregnancy. Accusations that Beyonce faked her pregnancy flooded the web after a video clip of the diva stirred up questions. The video shows Beyonce's bump losing its shape as she tries to sit on a chair. Some are thinking this may be a prosthetic belly. Beyonce's team called the accusation stupid, ridiculous, and false. Well, Rihanna has been named the sexiest woman alive by Esquire magazine. The Barbados native has been known for turning up the heat with her sexy outfits and musical performances. Other beauties to have made the sexy Esquire cover are Halle Berry and Minka Kelly. And although Ashton Kutcher and Demi Moore continue to deny breakup rumors, the alleged mistress who started it all has revealed details of her rumored hookup with Kutcher to British newspaper The Sun. The San Diego woman tells the paper that Kutcher told her he was separated from Moore before they slept together. Kutcher and Moore have not openly commented on the allegations. They were photographed earlier this week camping in Santa Barbara. And that's your entertainment wrap up. Back to you, Jenny. In other campus news, think about how often you use your smartphone. Would you believe that two Cal State Fullerton students have created their own app available today? Jared Rumler and Chad Bailey met when Rumler noticed Bailey using the app he created during a class they had together. Having zero experience, Bailey teamed up with Rumler to produce new apps for the Android phone. Rumler said he's had such a great success he was able to quit his previous job and work on making apps from home. He has three apps in the top 50 of the Android apps available for purchase. That's all for your Friday DTN3. Thanks for watching. Have a great weekend.